The seven mooring buoys are the peacekeepers at Ala Moana Beach Park. They're being prepared to replace the first series of spar buoys that were installed at the popular Oahu Water Sports Beach three years ago. We had a lot of complaints uh, regarding stand-up paddleboard use versus swimmers because this beach is really known for as a swimming beach. So we got together with the community to see if we could do something without having to go and pass more regulations. And we came up with the idea that we would install buoys and then people would self-police. The stand-up paddlers would stay on the outside of the buoys. Swimmers would stay on the inside of the buoys and it worked really well. Ed Underwood is the administrator of the DLNR Division of Boating and Ocean Recreation. He's joined by Paul Sinsano and Megan Statz to attach chains to tether the new buoys to existing 600-pound concrete anchors. These replacement buoys are far more resistant to water infiltration, which has caused the original spar buoys to sink lower into the water. Plus an added benefit. Spar buoys sit higher in the water, but the mooring buoys, people won't be able to actually hang on to them. A lot of the issues that we were having with some of the buoys were that people were hanging on to it and then causing it to uh, get water inside the buoy and kind of uh, give us the problems that we were having. The calm waters of the lagoon at Ala Moana Beach Park provide ideal conditions for novice paddlers. The growth in the sport beginning in 2009 prompted the Department of Land and Natural Resources to find a way to control crowding and to separate ocean uses, mostly paddling and swimming. Separating zones with buoys received widespread approval. You know, in this location for the last three years, uh, it's been working really well. You know, we did a big, huge outreach with the community, you know, back and forth. Um, and we came up with a plan, rather than instilling rules, let's come up with an agreement where we have the stand-up paddlers in one zone and the swimmers in another. And the swimmers can still enter the stand-up paddling zone, but they do so at their own risk. And so far for the past three years, it's worked extremely well. The buoys serve as a guide, and the swimming and paddling corridors are not set in rule. DLNR decided early in the process that establishing rules for this waterway to separate users might limit public access to one of Oahu's most used recreational areas. Even as the new replaces the old, the fun continues all around. The existing anchors are in murky water, and it's a tedious process to free the spar buoy and then to attach the mooring buoys. It's worth the effort to avoid potential conflicts and to ensure this area remains open for all to freely use. It really has worked. It's a great concept. We're hoping, we're hoping to use this as a model for other areas in the state because we really don't want to have to go through rulemaking and, all, and passing more regulations every time a new activity comes into the state. It's better that everybody share the resource.